So let's say you want to rig this character. How would you go about it? There's a few ways to do this. We can select one of the preset armatures and scale it down. And here's what you already need to understand. You don't need all these bones, right? Like if I position it somewhere like that, I can go in edit mode. And you also want to work very efficiently. So basically all the bones on this side, you don't need. Because if I turn on the names, notice... They have the suffix R, right? Whereas the other side has a suffix of L. It will automatically mirror it over for you, right? So I can delete these bones and I can select them back here, right click and hit symmetrize and it will bring it back over here. But it's very important that it ends with underscore L or dot L or whatever. So I'm gonna delete it on this side and make sure to keep the ones in the middle. And basically any bones that you don't need, you can delete. So in this case, I deleted one too many, but that's fine. I'm going to select the and press E and then Z, move it upwards. And with F2, I can rename it to head. There we go. The pelvis bone, like the default armature is, has a few extra controller bones. I don't need this one, so I'm going to delete it. And then the way you want to rotate it, you want to rotate the bones if I want to place it like on the leg don't like start moving them separately and whatnot what i like to do is select the whole leg i'm gonna look at the top here i'm gonna make sure to position this bone first and then i'm gonna go to the top and select 3d cursor select this point or just shift and right click to put your 3d cursor there or if you want to be very precise shift s make sure to select this shift s cursor to select it select everything and you want to make sure to like rotate the whole the whole thing also here move it back you can just scale it up or down in this case let's see the foot has a weird shape but that's fine i don't need the heel i can delete that the toe box move that out a little bit the starting point of my spine i kind of want to make sure it's parallel with the top of my thigh bone so i'm gonna you can also hide bones if you can't see through them properly And this is like the neck, essentially, so I can, can delete this. Now it's disconnected. So I can select the next bone, which is this one. The head, I can select spine. Let's rename this one to neck. Make sure the parent of this one is neck, and then select connected. And I do want the bone to like be straight. It's just easier for when we're going to actually animate it or whatnot. One easy way to do it is to press S scale it on the y-axis and press zero and enter and i kind of want to make sure it's like right over here that's like where the head starts and here's my neck so i'm gonna keep those bones right over there and even these bones i kind of want to keep them straight so i can just position them like that i don't want too many like curves and whatnot in my armature that's looking all right i can space these out a little bit better keep them nice and even you got a breastbone position that somewhat close to the breast like essentially you don't have to be extremely precise but you know you do want to make sure to be moderate with uh, the bone placement and whatnot okay for now i'm just going to ignore the fingers because it'll be a little bit too much uh, for the video I'm trying to keep these relatively short so now i can select all these bones everything with the suffix of dot l right click and symmetrize there we go and now we can do an auto weight paint or a manual weight paint i already made a video about this before you can click on the top right corner of the screen to look at that one or check it out in the description below but i can select the mesh shift click the armature control p with automatic weights and now if we go in pose mode, it is, it did a pretty poor job of weight painting it, but it's okay. All right, doesn't matter. It's not the point of the video. So few things, right? So now you rigged up your character. Well, let's say you already have a rig. So let's say you, again, for a commission or for whatever, you brought in a rig or you bought a model that had a rig and you want to reuse that rig. Let's say this is our own model essentially the same one but and i want to use this rig on this character and how do you do that that's pretty important i'm going to select this rig i'm going to shift d duplicate it and i'm going to move it over to my 
character, right? My new character, there we go. I'm going to spend my time aligning it, all that. Your own model, obviously, the chances that it's going to fit the rig one-to-one -one is rare unless you try to recreate the original model. In this case, this is actually the original model, but heavily deformed. But let's say I don't need the breast bones or, you know, like I need some extra bones. How do we do that? You don't necessarily have to delete the bones if you want to keep them for later. So if you're not going to use the bones, what you can do is essentially like every bone. So make sure you select your armature, go in pose mode and then select one of the bones, go into your bone properties. And then with every bone, you will see this little check mark for deform so right now if i select this bone and i move it it'll move the breast but if i go to this bone to the bone properties and i uncheck deform now if i move this bone it won't do anything like the model still holds the data right the weight pain data but that doesn't matter because it will completely ignore the bone so that's one way to keep bones that you're gonna use later or whatever you don't want to delete them that's one way to like ignore them basically. Now, if you want to add bones, like let's say your model is looking, you know, a little crazier, like has four arms. Let's bring this over again. You can select the bones that you need and shift D duplicate them. And the important thing here is if you've done stuff with these bones, you do have to make sure they are all following the same thing. What you do need to pay attention to is where the bone is it to right now if i go in pose mode if we look at the hand for instance i can move the hand rotate it its parent is forearm.l and what we mean by parent and child bones is essentially the child bone will follow the parent bone whether it's connected or not like what i mean by that for instance is i can make a duplicate of the hand bone and parent it to the hand keep offset so in this case this bone is not directly connected to this bone but it is still a child bone if I move it, you see it'll also move this one. That's how you can basically know. And also you can see this dotted line. It's kind of like a hierarchy. So we got all these are child bones and parent bones. That means which one is moving all of these guys? It's got to be spine.004, right? And an easy way to check that is by selecting the bone and moving it around with G or R. Just wiggle it around. And then, of course, comes your decision to parent it to one of the bones that completely depends on your model what your you know intentions are but in this case it kind of you know this part is pretty much attached to the neck so i can select in edit mode select the spine shift click the neck and press ctrl p and i'll do it with keep offset because i want to make sure the position is still here if i did connect it it'll move the whole stack over here i don't want that so keep offset now in pose mode if i move the neck It'll move the whole, you know, this this side over here as well. And in this case, the head won't do anything, which is great. Now, when you have a better understanding of bones, you can start to mess around with the constraints. So if you go in pose mode, you select any bone, you go down to bone constraints, and you can add a constraint. And you have quite a few of them. Just play around with them. So for instance, if I want to limit the rotation of the arm movement when it goes up and down. So if I press R and X, that will move the arm up and down so my up position i can read it from here on the x-axis is 38 degrees and down minus 51 or let's say minus 50. so i can then go here to the limit my minus i'll set it to minus 50 and my max to 38. i'll make sure to set the owner to local space and now if i move it up and down see it will limit it but you can have fun with stuff like that and build your rigs out you know there's plenty of uh, videos that explain all of this stuff in depth i'm just going over the really basics of it so anyway i hope this video was useful let me know in the comments down below what else you would like to see and i hope to see you in the next video all right don't forget to subscribe all that stuff if you want and see you in the next video ciao